Uh, meanwhile, Prabhakar Sel, who is that uh, NCP witness, now the man at this hour, the man of this of the hour, who made those allegations of extortion against Kiran Goswami involving Samir Vankare, reached the Mumbai Police Commissioner's office this morning. These are visuals of him arriving at the Commissioner's office. Saurav Gupta now joins us. Uh, Saurav, so clearly the NCB, the Anti-Drugs Authority is coming out strongly in support of Mr. Vankhade. They've said he's an officer with an impeccable service record. He's replete with honesty and integrity. Uh, the, and uh, So they're clearly coming out in support of both him and the agency. But does this answer all of those, uh, those questions? Who is... Uh, uh, Mr. Goswami, how does he have access to an accused? And of course, that video that has now gone viral of him holding a phone up to Aryan Khan's face and Aryan Khan is speaking to somebody. Uh, has the agency answered any of those questions? Uh, who was Aryan Khan speaking to? Uh, how was he allowed to speak to this person on the phone? And what was Goswami doing with Aryan Khan again in that video? Well, this is of course Kiran Gosavi, and this is of course a witness in the NCB case. And Gosavi is someone who uh, now, of course, was first seen in the controversial selfie with Aryan Khan while he was in NCB custody. And then, of course, in a video that emerged on social media yesterday, he was seen making Aryan Khan talk to an identified person on the phone again while Aryan Khan was, uh, you know, in NCB custody. Now, these, of course, are incidents that are not seen in isolation, but also as uh, part of the uh, sort of whole, uh, you know, sequence of events. Now, Kiran Gosavi was also seen handling the accused at the NCB office. Now, this is something that the Narcotics Control Bureau hasn't addressed, hasn't answered. They've, you know, they've filed an affidavit in uh, the court, but they've not really clarified on how Mr. Gosavi was allowed to do these things. Under which law was he allowed to do these things? They've come out in defense of Samir Vankhede, and Samir Vankhede has said that somebody has his own axe to grind, and this is a political functionary who's, uh, you know, uh, been targeting me uh, uh, with uh, motivation. So obviously this is malified intention and all of that. But the key question, how was uh, Mr. Gosavi, who according to another witness in the case, was also demanding money, 25 crores to be precise, and then, of course, according to the affidavit, uh, he told uh, uh, one called Sam D'Souza, a uh, gentleman called Sam D'Souza, uh, you know, settle at 18 because 8 crores has to, has to go to Samir Vankhede. So these are serious allegations, and this is, of course, all on affidavit, and, uh, you know, but the NCB affidavit doesn't, uh, you know, sort of go into these allegations at all, uh, except to say that they're false, but the whole fact that Mr. Gosavi was part of the NCB's, uh, you know, team of things in terms of, uh, you know, uh, bringing the accused to their office, making him talk to someone on their phone while the accused is in NCB custody, controversially getting a selfie clicked with the accused, then disappearing and now missing. So these are questions that the That's NCB right, hasn't really answered. That's right.